and welcome back to just wing it all right hey we are back at the field and we have the the uh, e-flight twin otter um, and the winds are cooperating today so uh, they're starting to pick up a little bit they're quartering kind of out of the northeast this is the northeast essentially but uh, hey we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, just try and do some scale flying here with the uh, with the twin otter um, we're going to go half flaps of this takeoff, and we're going to basically let her weather vane into the wind, and away she goes. Okay, what a what a pretty climb out, I mean, quite frankly. Um, so anyways, we're flying her on a 3S 2200. Uh, it's a China Hobby Lines, it's a 55C, and we're going to go ahead and set up for a nice uh, low pass here. Full flaps, full flaps. Okay, one thing is about this plane is... Uh, People have said that they'd like to see some, you know, some low and slow with it, and quite frankly, uh, it's really not that floaty of a model. Okay, it really isn't. Um, it it has a bit of a high wing loading. Okay, the I think that the the model itself captures the uh, twin otter's essence in the foam format very well, but. As far as uh, being an, a floating model, a floating model it isn't, okay? So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where I think the Reynolds numbers were against us. <laughs> they conspired. But, uh, hey, we just went full flap. We're going to be diving down here. Going to set up for a, uh, for a touch and go here. Try to do this nice here in this wind. Uh, boy, she does. She did crab pretty good. That's pretty neat. Um, wow. Well, she didn't want to come down. Okay, because we're, we're going into the wind here. So I brought her to half flap. Uh, we're going to bank her around. We're going to try that again. Okay, it looks like the wind's shifted a little bit. And they might be basically a direct cross right now. So, hey, full flap. Let's dive her on in. Let her weather vane just a little bit. Okay, uh, doing good. Uh, control that sink with the throttle. Let's let her flare. All right, a little bit of a plopper there, but hey, it is what it is, and away she goes. Okay. Um, so yeah, one thing I've noticed too is it's really kind of hard, or at least I'm, you know, I'm not saying it's hard, but uh, I'm noticing that she really tends to uh, fall out a little bit, so towards the end of her approach. So what you really got to do is you want to bring her in with some speed, and you kind of want to flare just like that at the last minute which is what what twin otters do um and uh, that was a, actually almost a picture perfect twin otter landing quite frankly <laughs> um so you, you you come in kind of steep and you, you kind of flare and you, you set her on the wheels and that's kind of the way twin otters do things so we're going to go ahead and keep her at, at takeoff flaps at half flaps go to full throttle away she goes and again you're usually rewarded with a very beautiful climb out. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to try to show you another, another twin otter uh, style approach. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and go to full flaps. We're going to let her come on down, come on down. And what you do is you let her point her nose at the runway, and then you you kind of flare at the end, and there you go. <laughs> so so there you go. So there's a couple of twin otter uh, style landings, but. If you want to do a shallow landing with this model, it just doesn't like doing them. And interestingly enough, neither do the full-scale Twin Otters. They generally don't do very well uh, on, a, on a shallower uh, landing approach. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying that it's best if you kind of learn how to do a Twin Otter style uh, landing. Okay, so anyways, we just did a nice scale takeoff. We're going to go ahead and bring her in one more time and uh, go ahead and do a pilot's debrief. Okay, so... Again, what I like to do is I like to go to full flaps, and then I like to bring her on down. Here we go, here we go. Let her, let her come on in directly into the wind, and then uh, go ahead and, and bring in some throttle to arrest that sink. There you go. <laughs> Did you see me hanging on that? Did you see the plane rocking back and forth with the elevator? I mean, isn't that amazing? <laughs> But it, it seems to be it, it like it, it just sort of pivots right there on that, that, that pivot point. Okay, so hey, we got a minute 50 remaining. We're going to go ahead and end on a happy note here. I'm going to grab my, uh, my trusty EOS Sentry battery checker and let's see what we got here. Okay, so going to go ahead and unplug the battery first. Make sure that it's the, the model safe to handle. I don't want these two propellers chewing me up 
Um, and let's see what we got going on right here. Okay, so uh, clear and turn the box off. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, 50%. Okay, so right at 50%. Hope you can all see that. Um, yeah, so very, very nice, okay? Uh, we just did some, uh, just some pattern work, essentially, with the Twin Otter. Uh, I put the battery in there to uh, go ahead and, and uh, put the battery in there to go ahead and, and, and let her sit on her gear. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, the more I fly this model, the more I really grow to like the way she flies. Now, again, there are a lot of people that are going to say, well, it's, it doesn't look like it can get very slow, and I'll just say this it really it really can't again it's it's a wing cube loading it's a it's a weight issue so the bottom line is she's just a little bit heavy with regards to flying as a floaty model so what you have is you have a beautiful uh, scale model and foam that, that captures the essence of the twin otter uh, but you know it, it's just not going to slow down to the point where it's going to fly like a cub okay it's just not going to happen but again you're going to be rewarded with a very nice uh, easy flying twin um, and you're also going to be rewarded with a, a good scale representation of what the twin otter uh, really is also showed you some of the uh, the twin otter style approaches where you you come in fairly steep you got to get used to flaring it at kind of the last minute. Let her set on the mains. Let that nose wheel settle, uh, and you're going to be good to go every single time. Okay, it's a very prototypical, very stereotypical uh, twin otter approach. If you watch any of the videos on YouTube of them coming into the Caribbeans, you know they they the any of the you know uh, Maldives or anything like that, they come in very steep and then they flare at the last minute last second so in any event hey i hope you enjoyed this time out here at the field uh showing you some more of the e-flight uh, twin otter get them while you can they're very hard to get now they, they the pre-orders keep selling out so now we're looking at the end of february i think beginning of march so if you can find one at a local hobby shop get one they're a great flying plane and they fly on a three cell 2200 so hey kind of hard to beat that for economy and you're going to get a rock solid five minutes out of it pretty much every single time. So with that, uh, thank you for joining me out here at the field. Blue skies, happy landings, and all the best from Just Wing It. Cheers, and thank you for, uh, for subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed this video of the E-Flight Twin Otter.